Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're going to be discussing what are the best VPNs to buy with cryptocurrency. Now, this is one of the best ways to buy VPNs anonymously since you don't have to give any payment information. Um, it's also pretty convenient if you're using some of the top cryptocurrencies which send fast transactions. However, that said, you might know that not every VPN does support this kind of transaction. Some VPNs also have odd limitations like Proton VPN, for example, it won't let you necessarily buy it from the main page, but you can add it after in terms of like adding kind of subscription time, which is kind of odd. So in this video, we're only discussing VPNs where you could buy it out of the gate, making your account with cryptocurrency. So guys, let's go ahead and discuss those very quickly. And I'll be putting timestamps in the link uh, description down below. Also have links for these VPNs too. Uh, these VPNs will get you the best price, which you can buy with cryptocurrency. None of these VPNs are sponsored in this video and I don't work for any of them. But if you do use my links, it will help support the channel with affiliation. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and decide at number one. Now, TorGuard VPN has always been one of the best VPNs to buy with cryptocurrency. It's for a long time um, kind of been able to, you've been able to do so. You know, one interesting fact that I do know is they were actually the very first product to be able to be purchased with the Bitcoin Lightning Network, which is a pretty cool little fact. If you use promo code TOMSPARK2023, you should be able to get 50% off. So the main plan is probably good for most people. I've also made a couple other videos discussing some of these other plans. But the basic TLDR is if you want a streaming plan, or if you want to access Netflix, the streaming bundle is pretty good. It gives you two dedicated IPs. You can also check out some of the other things like um, the the anonymous proxy is for V2Ray if you are in a censored country. The cloud services are if you want to make your own kind of self-hosted WireGuard network. And that's kind of the gist of that. There's also a couple other different bundles and add-ons you could check out if you're interested. But for most people, the main core plan will be very good. So as you can see here at the bottom in payment, we have tons of options here. You have Monero, Litecoin, Bitcoin, all sorts of different things. Just remember guys that primarily with all these VPNs, it's gonna be harder to get a refund with cryptocurrency just from the nature of how things work. So just keep that in mind. Next up, we could talk about Hide.me. Now, Hide.me is also another VPN that does support cryptocurrency as a payment, and they're even kind of involved in some NFT and cryptocurrency stuff if you're interested in that. I myself am not too interested in that component, but I do like how uh, Hide.me is an affordable VPN that does support cryptocurrency as a checkout plan. By using my link, you should be able to get the best deal going on right now, which is around $70 for 27 months, which is a great price. As you can see here, you could play with any of these cryptocurrencies here, including Monero, Bitcoin, and some of these other cryptocurrencies that will be very good uh, for paying for high.me. This is an excellent VPN. Uh, it's 10 simultaneous device use, which is really nice. Um, the one thing about high.me compared to TorCard is it has a little bit better streaming compatibility built in. If you want to use it with Netflix, you're not going to have to get that streaming bundle. So that's a really nice thing. The speeds for me aren't quite as good as TorCard VPN, but you do kind of have that streaming compatibility built in, which is a nice feature. So overall, an excellent VPN and definitely one you could buy with cryptocurrency. Next up, we're going to be talking about private internet access. This one is uh, another VPN that for a long time has selected uh, or offered cryptocurrency as a payment option, as you can see here. Um, you could just pick BitPay on checkout and purchase it. Now, private internet access is a pretty good deal for a long term as well, around $57, which is a nice deal. This is definitely one of the best applications out there. Well, I'm not as as huge as the fan of the company itself being bought out by Cape, um, being kind of acquired and changing hands. At the end of the day, it's still a decent product. It has very good speeds, applications good, and the streaming compatibility is good. So that's definitely one to consider as well if you're looking for a VPN to buy it with all around good feature and cryptocurrency on checkout. Click on the link for PIA to get this deal below. Lastly, we have none other than NordVPN. Now NordVPN does actually support cryptocurrency as a checkout plan. Their pricing plan here is kind of a mess, I'll tell you that. But overall, you could get around $107 of uh, VPN for two years. So that's pretty, that's okay. Um, it's not quite as cheap as the other options, but as you can see, we do see cryptocurrency payments here. Um, so that's something to think about as well. 
Now how can you decide which one of these to pick between PIA, Nord, Hi.me, and Torgard? Well, like I said, they all have their individual advantages. Torgard by far is probably the cheapest um, per month and long term. It's also incredibly fast, but the stream compatibility is that extra bundle and is a little bit clunkier as a whole. Hi.me is very good. Not quite as fast as TorGuard, but the stream compatibility is built in, and as a whole, it's an excellent VPN to choose. NordVPN, I'm not a huge fan of the marketing tactics and some of the elements of the company. However, it's stream compatibility worldwide, and speeds are second to none. Private internet access, a little bit similar to Nord in that aspect, where I'm not as huge fan of the marketing elements of the company and privacy practices, perhaps. Um, you know, having trackers and like marketing things like that on their website. But like NordVPN, they're very fast and the application is very good. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for from a VPN. And I hope I helped you decide in this video. I'll be putting links in the description down below for all these VPNs that you could check out. I've also reviewed every one of these VPNs on the channel. So if you're still not sure, make sure to just look up uh, TorGuard Review or PIA Review, Tom Spark Reviews on YouTube. And you'll be able to find a link for in any of these VPN reviews that I've been doing for years and years. Additionally, guys, you can even check out the VPNTierList.com comparison table, which you will be able to find a very easy way to distinguish these VPN providers. All you have to do is click on this table link here, and it will take you to the data table, which I've meticulously made, highlighting all the minutia differences between these VPNs. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful, and I'll see you again in the next one very soon.